Got an interesting story out of Major League Baseball, and the video is via the Petros and Money Show, a staple in Los Angeles, California on AM570, Fox Sports LA. The video captures the Anaheim Angels' Anthony Rendon confronting a fan. When Rendon says, did you call me a B-word, the fan tucks his tail and says, no, no, of course not. They exchange words, then Rendon tells him in not-so-glowing terms to take a hike. Now, another angle has come about, showing the events that led up to Rendon and the fan having a disagreement. Twitter user DMW1515151 puts an arrow over the man's head, which shows him smack-talking multiple Angels players going right up against the fence to do so. At about the 20-second mark, he says something to Rendon. And the big leaguer hears it and immediately turns around. Rendon signals him to come over. Another fan would sort of push the yeller to Rendon. And that's where what we saw in the initial video transpires. But this adds a lot of context, doesn't it? So here's the latest. First, Major League Baseball told ESPN they are investigating the matter which occurred in Oakland, California. We are aware of the video. We are now looking into the matter, the organization said. When reporters caught up with Rendon the next day, he said, I'm sorry, I can't comment, likely because of said investigation being conducted by the league office. Angels manager Phil Nevin commented briefly, This happens a lot, unfortunately. A lot of times we just don't see it. You're going to hear things all the time. You hear a lot. Right now, I just don't want to comment on the incident involving Anthony or anything that goes along with it. According to TMZ Sports, the Oakland Police Department is launching an investigation into the matter after seeing the video. Although we are still unaware who the victim is, an OPD spokesperson told the outlet, surveillance video of the incident has surfaced. As a result, OPD created an incident, made a report, and is actively investigating. Athletes just aren't afraid anymore. They aren't afraid of shutting up and dribbling or shutting up and pitching or shutting up and playing the field or shutting up and hitting. I think from what I've seen, more of these incidents are just coming to light in recent years, especially when people like this think they can get away with almost anything. And there's always another video of the incident that comes about. Do I love Anthony Rendon putting his hands on a fan? No. Do I love Anthony Rendon swatting at a fan? No. But do I like fans also going and yelling obscenities, which is what I have to believe he said in order to get a reaction out of Anthony Rendon, at players who are just trying to do their jobs? No, I don't love it. Not really. Draymond Green said the NBA needs to protect more of its players a few years ago. And we have seen attacks against Russell Westbrook. We have seen, you know... uh, What's a man's name who played for uh, Marcus Peters went into the stands. That was obviously wrong, but he was being smack talked by a fan. I think the athletes are just, they've had it up to here. Now, on a different note, I must say, Major League Baseball with the pitch clock, I am loving this. Loving it. I remember seeing the number for Cubs opening day. I'm a Cubs fan. Cubs opening day, it was like, Two hours and 20 minutes with Marcus Stroman on uh, pitching. And the there have been positives and negatives, in my opinion, with Pitchcom. Overall, I do like it, though it is an evolving technology. And we will get there. Shohei Otani and his opening start for the Anaheim Angels, their Pitchcom device between the catcher and pitcher went out. So they had to go back to doing signs. It is a step in the right direction. I think what could be better is having it vibrate near the catcher's ear to indicate what pitch it's going to be because in the minors, I'm sorry, in spring training, I believe this happened with Zach Ranke when it went out and there were other instances of the hitters hearing the little speaker that goes right next to the catcher's ear. They, excuse me, they knew what pitch was coming. So it will get better, but Most importantly, this is how we're supposed to enjoy baseball. There should not be a pitcher who lollygags around, grabs his nuts, plays with the rosin bag, takes 
minutes between pitches that accumulate. Last year's games were well over three hours. I don't believe prior to this year where it's definitely going to be less than three hours. That a game was under three hours until like 2005, I want to say. So I'm loving this. Truly. The pitch clock, well done.